Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today is the giveaway for the 1,000 subscribers and this being the 300th video. Thanks for everybody that's tagged along over the years. I'm really super happy that my outdoors videos and travel videos has gotten some of you outdoors as well. It's a beautiful world. You, you just got to see it while you're here. Um, I'm also glad that the how-to videos have been super helpful for many. It's really cool seeing the creations that everybody comes up with and what other people's minds does with uh, different kinds of thoughts and things that uh, you can do in Locksport. Anyways, let's move on to our giveaway. We have uh, the three pots. We have the progressive uh, lock pot. We have the progressive medico pick pot or medico lock pot. And then we have the dong pick, the multi-dong pick. So let's start with our progressive. We'll go ahead and pick a comment. Elijah Carney, all right, progressive. Uh, reach out to me either on my uh, YouTube email, my uh, about section of my YouTube, or reach out to me on Instagram because I know you follow me on there. We follow each other. So, uh, Elijah, congrats. Next, we'll move on to Medico. Jeff and Things, awesome, cool. Jeff and Things, uh, yeah, reach out to me. You can reach out on, anybody can reach out to me on my socials to get the uh, shipping information or reach out to my uh, YouTube email in my about section of my uh, my uh, YouTube profile here. We'll move on to our multi-dong pick. Spicy Tuna Roll 777. Uh, yes, congratulations. This was the most popular <laughs> pot that everybody wanted. Everybody wanted some dong. Uh, congrats, Tuna Rolls. You got yourself some uh, multi dong pick coming your way and uh, two uh, practice locks to play with. Um, I think you'll love the pick. I, I quite enjoy it. It's a perfect size handle. Oh, it feels great. And you're going to get a nice flag with it. Anyways, the following video. As far as I can tell, this is a public first pick. It's an M Lido MP83. It's got five pins, uh, only one security pin in it, but it does have a sidebar with two crescent wafers in it, which is something I haven't seen yet. And I can't find any uh, information on this lock anywhere. But yeah, it's, it's nothing too special, but for a high security lock, something with a sidebar, more than anything, this is a great lock for those wanting to get to start into higher security locks of sidebars. Because it only has those two little wafers, you just move them until they click into place and it opens right up. So a fun little way to get into sidebars. If anybody has any information on this, uh, please drop in the comments. I would love it because uh, I definitely search for info and I can't find anything on it. Um, I've only found another Lido model, which was nowhere similar to what this one is at all. Anyways, enjoy the video and uh, congrats to our winners. Uh, thank you all again. 1,000 subscribers, already up to 1,200 <laughs> uh, uh, very recently, and this being my 300th video. All right, enjoy. Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an Asa Abloy Lido MP83. It is a five pin lock with two side wafer pins. And as far as I can tell, and as far as what I can see online, um, please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. This is the first pick and gutting of this lock. Um, not too special. Um, it is a nice alloy, good tolerances. There's only one uh, spool in it, but there are, again, yeah, two side, um, basically check pins, two side wafer pins once you pick the uh, drivers. I felt myself over set that, so I let it back down, that way I can... Yep. Here, just reset it all. through his binding. We lifted it but never got a click out of it. So maybe it was the angle of my pick because I'm not feeling anything else anywhere else. I 
clearly hit other stuff on accident. There's pin three. Yep. Alright, pin three is set. Pin two is set. Pin one is set. Pin five is, oh, that's four, I think. So I think four is our spool pin there. That's five, four, so our last pin should be five, unless four was it. Two is set. So I don't think we're in that full false set for the side pins yet. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything that's Set, set, okay, I think actually, slide pins might, might need to be picked now, so let's give that a shot. There we go, there's our open, so yeah, we need it. So four was our last one there. So here we go, got that open, and let's uh, actually so out here. I would like to keep it in focus for this. There we are, and I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. And I want to go ahead for the rest of this then and um, reset this. That way it's easier on me to get the seat clip off because that's stressful as hell to me. <laughs> I'd rather have this uh, fully set over and unpicked and have to worry about getting this dang thing off this way. I'm going to suck at getting these off. I'm not sure this is exactly how this specific... There we go. Got it off to the side. Now if I can just... Hank it off, that'd be great. Oh, and stab myself. There we go, jeez, whew. All right, where is my key? Do that in, I'm just gonna turn it that way. There we go, and here is, <clears throat> There we go. Here is the body. So I'll take the key out. So all it is, in fact, we will dump, dump the pins first. We'll get to that in a second, sorry. Make this easy. Do that and we'll stick this in our plug holder up there. We'll go ahead and get all the pins out here. So you can see that our 
our pens aren't are anything not anything too special. So all standard one spool and number four there. When you look at the um, oh, it's actually I can't pull the key out. Lots in there like that. When you look at the key, you can see that uh, number two makes things really difficult, and especially with the slightest nudge in these tolerances, that makes it difficult. Otherwise, um, here is the uh, side. Oh, get the focus there. Here's the side pins right there. There we go. Get it much closer. There we go. So it goes into the side right here. This wavy part of the key at the end right there, you can see is what does that right there. So the depths of that wave. So I'm going to go in here. You can see how it lines that up. You can see that spring on number two is not that strong. It should be pushing it back down a little bit more, it looks like. But that's what it does, and then it pushes in. So very simple. So yeah, once you pick the, the main um, pen stack, all you do is go in and take your pick and just push those up and to, just to the side. That's all it is. So like almost kind of like a little uh, raking action. So there it is. That is the um, Asa Abloy uh, Lido MP83. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.